Monica I'm Monica Ricks in New York. A shooter has confessed to the July 4th massacre in Highland Park and plans for even more violence. CBS's Bradley Burns reports. A judge has ordered the man accused of opening fire at a 4th of July parade outside Chicago held without bail as he faces seven counts of first-degree murder. Law enforcement says before the suspect was apprehended, he thought about continuing his rampage. While he was driving and he located the celebration occurring in the Madison area, he contemplated another attack with the firearm he had in his car. Indications are that he hadn't put enough thought and research into it. Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes. We will never know for certain uh, what stopped him, but I am thankful that no innocent lives were taken from our city. Madison's mayor also urged Congress to ban assault weapons. President Biden says the Justice Department and FBI are now looking into the police shooting death of Jalen Walker in Akron, Ohio. If the evidence reveals potential violations of federal criminal statutes, the Justice Department will take the appropriate action. Walker was shot more than 60 times during a traffic stop last week. Eight officers are now on paid leave. Mr. Biden also reached out to Brittany Griner's wife today to offer support to the WNBA star's family. That call comes days after the president got Brittany's letter from Russia, urging him not to forget about her. A new Justice Department operation called Operation North Star is nabbing violent criminals in major cities. They apprehended over 1,500 fugitives in those cities, most of whom were wanted for the most serious, violent, and harmful offenses, including in particular homicide. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the operation targeted those violent criminals, including sex offenders and gang members. Investigators are looking into at least 20 overdose deaths now in Florida. Gadsden County Sheriff Morris Young. I truly believe that you know, somebody just kind of upped the ante with, with this fentanyl, and we don't know if it's, you know, locally or uh, if it, you know, came already laced. They are searching for a source. A 14th flight packed with baby formula is now headed to the U.S. to help with a nationwide shortage that's been going on for months. CBS's Alexander Tin. Popular infant formula brands from around the world, ranging from the United Kingdom to Australia, are now importing cans to the U.S. under temporary flexibilities issued by the FDA earlier this year in response to the nationwide formula shortage. Those loosened rules were initially due to expire in November, but now the FDA says it is working to come up with new guidance that could keep the imports flowing for the long term. This is CBS News. Facet Wealth is an S. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye, everybody.